Hi, welcome to the 2022 Economic Depression and Preparation Channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday, May 15th edition here. I uh, went to the weekend here, and I just want to know uh, what is your chances that you think that we're going to go into a recession this year for the Western world um, and also Europe in the UK um, and, 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 and other countries in Europe as well, um, all the way from Romania, all the way back to Spain, um, the United States, um, South America. It's very possible that recession fears are growing here because according to bbc.news.com, they're saying that recession fears are growing among many people as rising prices hit spending. Uh, basic economics 101, um, if prices go up faster than wages and also, you know, any living wages, then that means that uh, we're at risk of a recession because people cut back on discretionary spending, um, even in the UK and other places, as you can see here in the stores have to raise prices, um, they have to lay off workers um, in banks, grocery stores, um, the critical infrastructure places that people work at. So higher prices are beginning to bite now. People are spending less, they're cutting down on car journeys due to high petrol costs, the fuel costs here. And you know, energy bills are rising, you know, it, it just not, it's just not gas and utility bills. The taxes on that, some states in the United States charge gas taxes for different states in the Northeast, or the Midwest, or other states. And that is also taking a bite of people's um, salaries and different things of that nature. So I want to know what you think. Uh, the cost of living is rising worldwide. More banks from the ECB, the European Central Bank, from the Federal Reserve Bank, more banks are printing more money that they printed up earlier this year. The $6 trillion or $7 trillion they printed up to keep the economy afloat. How has your spending cut back? Um, have you spent less money on food? Have you created a new budget um, to handle the higher energy and food costs as well as the cost of living, daily cost of living um, costs that are going up? Um, I know for myself, the cable bill, the internet bill went up by $10. So everybody's rising prices. They said there was some kind of service fee or subscription fee. That went up by $10 or $15. And every little thing hurts, you know. Um, they have another thing that, and like I said, the taxes are going up. People's property taxes on their homes are going up because the values were so sky high these last past years, you know, with the run up to this housing bubble. And so I want to know what are you cutting back on in your daily budget and planning as we go deeper and deeper into this recession, uh, yay, even depression. Like I said, time we realized that we're in a recession, that the media reports on it, we will already have been into like a depression. So that's not coming till later, but you can see things are rising and bubbling now. So are you are you spending less on traveling? I know a lot of people are working from home and, and remote working and all that stuff, but are you cutting back on your family vacations and travel? Um, are you cutting back on your food budget? Are you cutting back on the time spent and entertainment budget maybe you know you go out to the cinema or the movies or something to relax with family or bowling or kids you cut back on the kids sports activities that they've been doing intramural activities they've been doing in school um what have you been cutting up back on as a household income as we fall deeper into recession because remember wages have not risen since uh 1995 so we've been over 25 years 30 years we've got a real price wage increase here and as this economy gets bad as you know folks we just had a shooting today in Buffalo, New York, in a, at a shopping center. Um, so as you know here, crime is going to go up big time. And it already has started. Uh, as a matter of fact, President Biden is asking people to use the extra pandemic, the states to use the extra pandemic money that they got. And they have some states have over $1 billion left over from the pandemic money um, from the extra supply. He's using, he's asking them, imploring them to use that to hire more police officers. As you can see here um, in Buffalo, New York, uh, we had a shooting at a supermarket where 10 people have been killed. Um, this is going to be more and more of a thing as people act out on their fears, um, uh, whether it be job fears or what's coming, you know, the, the climate fears, the war in Ukraine, what you name it. Um, people are going to be able to survive. And once these grocery stores start limiting people and gas stations start rationing, all that's coming back in one form or another, ladies and gentlemen. That means more shootings and more crime. And so that's why it's important that you prepare now uh, yourself now mentally, sp spiritually, physically. Um, and emotionally for what you're going to see when things really get going. Right now, it's just a preamble. Like I said, these events are happening in, in a lot of cities in the U.S., um, you know, in isolated events. But eventually, it's going to be all over as people realize they cannot get the supplies that they need. Um, and it's going to become a mode of kind of like a survival mode right now, you know. But right now, things are going okay. But eventually, that's what's going to be happening. So let me know what you cut it back on. I'd be curious to hear in different parts of the country here and different parts of the world 
um, that are listening um, as we all struggle and survive to make our budgets uh, meet as we so we don't run out of money before the end of the month in some of these cases so thank you for listening to me i just want to know, talk briefly touch on the uh, recession fears that we have coming into this summer and i look forward to seeing you in the next video